Hello, my name is Dr. Ruthie. I'm a sexuality educator and relationship expert, and thanks to funwares.com, I am here to talk to you about how to enjoy porn together with your sweetheart. We're going to talk about the content of the porn and how to choose the right stuff, where to get your porn from, and how to bring it back to the couple in a positive way, because that's really, really important. Because watching porn together, the most important part is the together part, not the porn part, right? So let's talk about content first. There's a whole lot of different kinds of porn. And if you're used to watching porn online, maybe free stuff, you're probably only used to certain types of porn. And it may be that in your relationship, you guys really enjoy the kind of porn that can be found for free online, which is a short clip, getting right to the really intense sexual content, um, can sometimes be kind of shock quality based. In other words, we're trying to do really intense sexual acts in a very intense way, maybe even really rough. It, if it were watching male-female porn, it may look like she's not enjoying it at all or she doesn't even want to be there. Um, if we're watching male-male porn, it may look like one of the guys is not enjoying it and doesn't want to be there. Um, the female female porn is definitely made for the male viewer and the women don't necessarily look like they're realistically enjoying it. Um, it is just there to show intense sexual scenes in an intense way and if that gets you off then that is perfect. However, when I meet couples who are interested in watching porn together, usually they have a different kind of porn that they're hoping to find. They're usually hoping to find a porn that's going to increase their couplehood experience and is going to inspire them to maybe even impersonate some of the things that they're seeing in the video. They want something a little bit more intimate. So let's look at a few of the different categories of things you might want to consider when you're looking at the right kind of porn for you. And remember, any kind of porn you can imagine is probably out there somewhere. So whatever kind of special note you're looking for in your porn, you're going to find it somewhere if you know the right places to look. And we'll talk about sources in a minute. So first let's talk about genders. The majority of porn that you're going to find has female-female scenes or female-male scenes. And there may or may not be very much in the way of foreplay, but there's probably going to be a lot of penetration. If it's male-female porn, then usually the guy is going to pull out and ejaculate somewhere in his female partner. You can get any kind of gender combination of porn that you want, however. If you're looking for groups, if you're looking for um, all male, if you're looking for all female that's made for a female viewer or has more authentic female pleasure in it, you can also find male-female porn that is more based on her pleasure as well instead of being defined by him getting off in the video. So take a look around and figure out the kind of genders that you and your sweetheart are interested in watching having fun, and they don't necessarily have to be genders that you're attracted to. There's a really large number of women who like watching male-on-male -male porn and some of their male partners are finding out that their female partner gets so aroused by that that it's totally worth watching and they really enjoy it, for example. I um, also want to take pay attention to the different kinds of acts that you want and the tone of those acts. So if you want something with a little more plot or you're looking for something with a little less plot or you want a lot of intercourse, or you want a lot of oral sex. All of those things are available, and you can look for porn that's described with those particular wordings. Don't be afraid to buy the porn that focuses on what you like the most, whether it's rough or really, really romantic and sweet. Also, talk with your sweetheart about the tone. I mentioned this earlier, but some of the kind of shock factor porn that we have out there has a very rough style compared to what most people tend to enjoy with their partners. And I'm speaking in broad generalities here, so just take whatever part applies to you. If you want something with a sweeter tone or a more romantic tone or a tone that's more focused on female orgasm, that is absolutely out there, so don't be afraid to go ahead and look for it. Have a nice, honest conversation with your partner about what you're looking for in that area, and then find it together. You might also look at who's having the orgasms. Again, typically the women in male-female porn are not having orgasms or they're not having very authentic looking orgasms. Again, broad generalities, just letting you know. It tends to be more based around the male getting off as the de definition of sex for those videos. So take a look and find what interests you the most. Keep in mind that unless you have bought a specifically educational video by someone who is known for doing high quality, educational videos, it's not an educational video. So unless you bought that kind, it is not for you to learn from. The particular acts in your video that you are watching may not be things that really turn each other on that much. They may not be things that really turn much of anyone on that much to have happen to them. They just look good to watch. Um, 
they oftentimes will not be using condoms, although if you want something with condoms, there are some companies that only do condom scenes, and that is wonderful to support. They may not be showing very much use of lubricant at all, but they should definitely be using lubricant, and you may want to be using it as well. So keep in mind that what you're seeing is not necessarily educational, and you may want to impersonate certain aspects, but not do the act the same way that you've seen it. I have a lot of clients who have learned about sex just from free porn on the internet and there's certain things that they are really an expert on and a lot of things that porn just kind of left them down. It's meant to be entertainment, not education, unless it's an educational video. And some of those can be really hot, by the way. Let's also talk then about the source. So you, we've talked about content and we've talked about some different criteria that you want to talk about with your sweetie or watch by yourself and see what works for you and what you prefer. Let's also talk about where you're getting it from. Um, you can, of course, watch it for free online on the internet. However, the quality that you're going to see there is likely to be a lot lower. I tend to suggest that people go ahead and just shell out the few bucks for it to either get a paid subscription from a porn provider that gives the kind of videos that they enjoy watching or purchasing DVDs that get the kind of reviews that suggest they're the kind of video that uh, that they want to watch. It's not just because I want you to buy stuff. You can buy stuff or not. It doesn't matter to me either way. It's because this is where you'll get the higher quality products that are more likely to be what you want to watch. You'll get a longer video, so if you don't watch it all at one sitting, you can chop it up over different sittings. Um, or you can uh, re-watch different parts that you like a little more easily. Sometimes the background music is better too. Sometimes. So think about where you want to go ahead and get your porn from. It's not terribly expensive to get yourself a few really good DVDs or a few, um, uh, you know, a good subscription or two that will give you access to the kind of videos you want to watch with good reviews. Through it all, remember, however, that you want to be bringing it back to the couple in a positive way. So remember what I said in the beginning. Watching porn together is more about the together than it is about the porn. So after you've figured out all the criteria for the kind of videos you've watched, you want to watch and you figure out where to get it and you are going to ha go ahead and watch these videos, you want to remember first of all to take it as slowly as the most hesitant person in the relationship wants to take it, always, always with the introduction of new stuff. You also want to remember to keep it personal and intimate. Pay attention to your partner's body language and to how they're feeling as they're watching this. You can always turn the video off or skip to a different scene or just throw it away or come back to it later or watch more and more and more if it's going really well. But you want to be giving those affirmative comments and compliments to your partner. You want to be watching the video in a way that you both feel good about. So perhaps making sure that you can see your partner as well as the video. Um, you want to be making sure that everything you do is bringing a good energy back to the relationship with the porn. And matching whatever is good for your relationship with the porn that you're watching and prioritizing the relationship. So always bring it back to the couple in a positive way so that you guys can have a good time watching that porn together and do it again later. Okay, I'm Dr. Ruthie. Hopefully that gave you some good insights on how to enjoy porn together. And I will see you at the next educational video from funwares.com. Thanks.